Well, you can feel, feel above the hole on each side. You can feel the bayonet sticking out. Right there's okay. the thing. <laughs> well, how many clicks in is this bayonet versus this bayonet? Like, the Send me with your witch time. time. Give me your autograph. <laughs> feel that side. You still feel the bayonet sticking out. Gotcha. This is uncomfortable. <laughs> We got the airplane together, we did all the test flying, it's ready to go. We're heading to Oshkosh. Right, let's start the Sapphire first. I think that's a good idea. Clear. No Sapphire light. No Sapphire Stop light. Stop both drop tanks. Clear for the canopies. Okay, I Tell got you yours. Help. Yep, you're good. Can't be locked. Can't be locked. Light out. All right. Sapphire start. Are you ready for main engine start? Uh, yeah. I gotta do fix one thing on my belt, but I'm good. Main engine start. Did you say you did or did not get a uh, sapphire light? By the way. Got a sapphire light. Okay. Those doors unlocked. Light. Well, you're figuring that out. Can we turn the air conditioning on? Oh. Shut down. I'm not going to Oshkosh just yet. Got a little fuel leak. Let's try this again. Okay, you're coming with the engine. Ready, ready? Let's do it. Uh, temperature is under 100. Okay, to minimum. Finger on the trigger to shut it down if we have to. Light off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, stabilized. Generator's coming on. Okay. Stand by. I don't know why the engine temperature continues to rise. Are you watching that? Yeah. I don't know what's going on with that. Um. Uh, how's the vibe meter look? Out of curiosity. It's perfect. It's still going, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. And I've got a wingtip tank light now. I'm calling Shane real quick. Yeah. The emergency brakes coming off. What did Shane have to say? Uh, we're, he's just going to pull us out. Okay, okay. The brakes check good. Yep. Um, why don't you get a... Tell me what the ATIS is real quick and I'll... Uh, we used to far, the wind was like 180 or something. Uh, and uh, you have COM1 on, they, they should be up on CTAS. Guys in traffic at Bonanza, so the hotel Papa is um, going to cross. There's only 36, I think there's 24 to park the gas. Guys, traffic experiment 139 Lima is crossing 36 behind the Bonanza. Guys. It's been weird to have us both in the airplane finally. I know, it's We've never cool. been in the airplane together. No. We're just doing this all by ourselves. And the Bonanza, the uh, jet's going to hold for just a minute for one more quick check, uh, leak check, and then uh, we'll be departing. Okay, do you want me to wait? No, go ahead and depart. There you go. Yeah, the change there looks good. Yep, change there looks good. We got flaps, flaps are to take off. Yep. Okay. All right, I got runner authority. I got airspeed, 60 knots. I'm doing 60 Seven. now. 80. I got 80. 90. Oh, this thing's a dog right now. Can you get the gear up? Yeah, gear are coming up. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a light. Weird not seeing a handle move. Yeah. Albatross 139 Lima is off the end of uh, 24. We're climbing, I uh, guess. Uh, okay. 
Uh, Bonanza, Albatross, uh, 139 Lima, where are you guys at? Uh, we made a right turn out, so we are uh, we're now east of the field, 2500, uh, trying to accelerate to get up towards 160. We're about 130 now. Okay, we're pulling back, and uh, we just made a left uh, turn after departure, so we're looking for you. Yeah, as, uh, I've got you in sight, you're at my 3 o'clock. All right, no joy, we're looking. Do you want me to come at you or straighten out? I'm coming through about 120 heading now. Coming towards you. Hold on. Will you look at airspace for me, Matt? Yeah, we're good to be uh, in this direction. We just don't want to go south. Okay. But, uh, hold on, hold on. Bonanza, Albatross 139, Lima. Oh, I got him. Let's, uh, let's pull the power back a little. Can I have it? Yeah, you have flight Okay, I got the plane. Yeah, I'm just going to set up in a uh, right-hand orbit, coming back towards the airfield. Okay, we're going to make a left turn towards you, but just uh, keep your right turn going, and then we'll get in the return. Copy that. Okay, Bonanza has you in sight. I'm at uh, just about 3,000. Almost 160. We're kind of slow. I can feel the bird shaking just a hair on the controls. The Bonanza, what was your indicator? 158. You can bring it back a few knots if you want. Maybe like go like 150. 11 o'clock. Right. 150 miles. Oh, hey, we get traffic alerts. Yeah, you didn't know that? I hadn't gotten one yet. Yeah, it's a transponder talking to us. Here's the thing with the rejoin. Keep the turn going. I just want to demonstrate something for Matt real quick. Ah, shit, there's the flap. She'll go through not to Okay, so here's what happens when that happens. You just go under to the outside, and then you can pull, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, then we can pull out if we need the speed. Yeah, no, I like that idea. And, uh, this is a little bit different. That's <laughs> bananas in the bank. Yeah, just keep the turn coming. We're, we're, uh, we're learning how to fly this thing. <laughs> And you can push the speed back up if you want, Zaz. It'll be a couple knots max, that's all. That's fine. Okay, so you guys will continue wings level. Here we go. We're off and flying, just the two of us, going IFR, Excellent. doing what this jet does cross country, and so far, it does Either not fail to disappoint, or to, uh, it does, <laughs> yeah, does not <laughs> I mean, it that kinda, too. kinda did that. <laughs> it did disappoint us, but now it's, it's uh, you know, it's not failing to... Delight. Delight us, yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> it's gonna point us this skyward for now, so that we definitely have separation on the Bonanza. Alright, how about the controls, you give me the information I'm looking for, and I'll program the GPS. I think that sounds like a plan. Right. You got the airplane. All right, I have the flight controls, and we're down into reasonable power settings here. Uh, aircraft is clean, and we are flying. All right. Well, yeah, I filed Bravo Mike India, if you want to punch that in. Okay, so is that the airport, or yeah. is that a fix? Yeah, that's the airport. Okay, that is so not lacrosse. Bravo Mike India. Hold also, on, the Bonanza is a thousand feet below us straight ahead, so I keep the climb. Here, I'll, you want to? You program me, and I'll take the controls. All right, you have the controls. Yeah, okay, I got the controls. How's the Bonanza ahead? I hit that because we made a turn and there are a thousand feet attention. below. Okay, uh, Bravo Mike India, is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Number 367 Hotel Papa, reset transponder, squawk 7144. So weird hearing 367 Hotel <laughs> Papa on frequency and it's not me. I'm gonna play with my mask, see if I can get my mic to work in my mask, is that alright? Okay, yeah, go for it. Um, do you want to put me up on a center frequency or something? Yeah, give me a channel that you'd like. Okay, okay uh, 2545. Stand by one. Birmingham Approach, Experimental Jet 139 or Lima. Lima 139 or Lima, Birmingham Departure, you're airborne on the ground. Yeah, we're airborne, climbing through uh, 11,300, looking for that IFR. November 139 or Lima, um, so you're well above my airspace. Contact the Lima Center 132.05. You get that? 3205, Matt? 3205, thanks. Atlanta Center, Experimental Jet 139 or Lima. We're definitely up on 3205. Hey. Atlanta Center, Experimental Jet 139 or Lima. I'm on the same radio. Hey. Do you want to swap back to Birmingham and I'll ask him again? Yeah, there's 139 or Lima. 139 Lima, go ahead. 
Hey, just confirm that was 3205 for center. Uh, we haven't been able to get him. Uh, no, no, 139 Lima. Um, actually, just remain this frequency in uh, squawk 7252. 7252. You get the squawk? Okay. Number 139 Lima, your radar contact, two miles east of the Gunnersville Airport, altitude indicates uh, 15,000, the Birmingham altimeter is 3007. You're clear to the Bravo Mike India Airport at Spa, climb and maintain flight level 230, spec flight level 24010 zero, zero minutes. Okay, maintain 230, expect 24010 minutes, we're clear to the uh, Bravo Mike India Airport as filed. Uh, number 139 Lima. 139 Lima, read correct. All right, uh, I got a tip tank light. 447, it's in a maintain, 5,000. That didn't last long. Memphis Center Experimental Jet, 139 or Lima. Number 139 or Lima, Memphis Center, I have you on out of 18.5 for 230. That checks. 139 or Lima, contact is Lima Center, 135.0. 35 nothing, 139 Lima, get it. Sorry, I went the wrong way around the 430 dial, go ahead. Uh, 12782, I'm going to go 006. Yeah, 2872. 2872, so no. Box 315, last center 128.72. 2872, Sorry, you get a minute for uh, hey, 351, 310 or better when you're able. 310 knots in the descent or better when the transition delta 951. Uh, Is your engine gauge like fogging up? Uh, he said the back one was doing that with the uh, condensation. Okay. 180 to 465. 2690, right turn heading 180, seven spaces. Yeah, we going to try to check in. Right turn heading 180. Uh, yeah, I can try one more time. Right to 26.3, contact line of center, 126.67. 126667, take care. Maintain follow up 240, maintain 280 knots. Maintain 280 knots, descend to follow up 240, double 2690. Atlanta Center Experimental Jet 139 Lima, flight level 200 for 230. Uh, shuttle 6060, contact Alana Center 128.72. 2872, 6060, goodbye. Elise 1826, contact Alana Center 128.72. 1872, Elise 1826, goodbye. Today, good afternoon, I'm with 8911-330. Envoy 3911-9 Center, right now. Atlanta Center Experimental Jet 139 or Lima 210 for 230. Come out 51, how's your ride in the descent? Are they having trouble hearing us? Are they having trouble understanding me or are they just all that busy? Got a 951, how's your ride in the descent? I'd say mostly space. Could be, yeah. Delta 951. Got a 763, contact method center 118187. One three nine Lima, you up? Hey, firm. Uh, got a twenty one thousand five hundred for two three zero. Oh, twelve thirty two with you three one zero. Twelve thirty two, I want to submit it. Delta twenty nine eighty three three one zero. Twenty nine eighty on the center, Roger. Ten five four two. And he's coming in kind of us sometimes, maybe. I change radios. Okay. Put, put us closer to Are we the back on the first radio then? Right, um, yeah. 3911, uh, right deviation. Yeah, Comp 2 doesn't hear shit. Uh, I think it's just him. Let me okay, try, hold on, let me try something. We'll let you know on what they're in 11. I'm still running the Comp 2 radio, so. Up 35 nothing, right? 3911, when you're able to direct to, uh, Chipper for the Chipper 1. Chipper for the Chipper 1. Oh, that's way better. 11. Comp 2. Atlanta Center, uh, Albatross 139, Lima, how do you hear? Alright, uh, was that 139 Lima? 139 Lima, 8 front. 139 Lima, left center, climb maintain, follow up 240. 240, 139 Lima. 4653, 6, 5, maintain, follow up 260. Maintain 260, blue street, 5605. Yeah, your mic's donkey trash. We can work on it. It's not something we can fix today, though. 139 Lima, Goddard, Memphis Center, 118.87. 1887, 139 Lima. Center, Allegiant 2917, level 350. Are, are we on that 1887? Uh, it was that a yes or a one second? Check, check. That was a no. 1910. Okay. 
degrees left or something there. I was just kind of watching that. Yep. Maybe you went to the right. We'll get back on course. Let's do it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I've never tried to track the ground doing that before. Right. Well, and I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not rolling out quite right because I'm looking down to make sure that I'm not you know, doing anything crazy in altitude or course here. That's but. funny. <laughs> Well, I've never, I, I looked down, I actually followed the ground that time. Oh, around. yeah? I've, that, that really changes it. You ever done that? Oh, really? What do you mean you're just like... So I basically tracked an item on the ground yeah. the whole way around well, the, yeah, the I mean, Yeah, so in theory, like, yeah, you can do that and... Here, come, come right, uh, your 346, 344 is what you need to be. So that I guess there? it would be left. Yeah, I lied. Oh, my Pop-Tarts are going off the deck. Okay. So you're you're tracking three four nine. Come left three four four. Okay. Well, I show us a little left of course. Yeah, your gyros. Come I mean, I'm just looking at the needle. I mean. Yeah, let me do the yeah. line. Oh, you're right. That's that's the last one. Okay. Oh, my knees are also miserable. November one three nine zero Lima descending scene one one thousand Decatur altimeter two nine 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 nine. Two triple nine zero down to one one thousand for one three nine zero Lima, and uh, I got a question. Niner, niner, three, niner, Lima, yeah, do you happen to have that in millibars? Is that handy or do you, do you have to do like a conversion? Sure, three, niner, Lima, sorry, I missed that, say again. Yeah, do you guys happen to have the altimeter setting in millibars? Uh, is that like easy for you to get? Um, I'm not sure, I'm just showing, did you need a list of reasons to So we want runway 20. Work for you? Hey. Oh, my ass is like numb. This uh, cushion did not help me at all. 139 Lima, period approach, verify your information. Lima, would you like the visual approach to 20 or 11? If we have Lima, we'd like the uh, visual for the overhead 20. Experimental jet 139 or Lima, approved to go to uh, initial for runway 20. Proof of initial on my 20, 
the overhead by my teacher. Experimental jet at one three nine or Lima. Roger, overhead brake midfield approved. Out to the left turnout and report your initial fix. All right, one three nine Lima approved. We'll put initial. Experimental three nine or Lima. Roger, report your downwind back into the uh, in the break. Uh, I'll report the break down. Ready for start? Yeah. Okay, we're ready for gear. Yeah. Jet to 39 or Lima, runway 20, clear to land. Clear to land, 2039 Lima. Okay, speed's 140, so I'm going to back that down to about what, 125, 130? No, we're quite high. Yeah, so you're a little high, a little fast. Long runway. Along too. <laughs> I was trimmed way back too. That's okay. Got lots of runway. Trying to arrow brake here. <laughs> we'll take uh, Golf Two. Turn my power everything off. Okay. Guess I don't get temperature back here. On the oil. On the oh, do I get engine temperature? You should, yeah. There Ready? we go. And did he have much to say about that EGT issue before, or he was just like, yeah, watch it? No, he said, it's fine. Okay. Okay, let's see, what else is there? We got pressure, hydraulics, uh, engines are running, set the flaps and test the speed brakes. There. I'm gonna go full, I'll go back to takeoff. Cool. It's the inverters, um, I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the rest of the switches, I guess. I don't know what it's doing. Kind of kind of at one, three, nine, I don't know how far it's Experimental jet 139 or Lima, Bloomington ground clear to the Cross Airport as filed. Climb and maintain 3000, expect flight level 26010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 128.72, squawk 1175. Okay, we're to the Cross as filed, maintain 3000, expect 26010 minutes to departure 128.72, squawk 1175, we're ready to taxi number 139 or Lima. Got my drops and tip switches on just so I can see them. Jet, uh, 3 9 or Lima, runway, uh, what would you like, runway 2 9 or 2-0? Uh, we can do a 2 9 for 1-3-9 Lima. Roger, experimental jet at 3 9 or Lima, runway 2 9 or taxi via Charlie Echo, hold short runway 2-0. No, runway 1-1 one is closest, but, but no, yeah. no wind. But I mean, but is that closer? There is no wind or what? Well, I see no wind on the sock. Ask for 1-1. One, one. And for 1-3-9, can we actually get 1-1? One, one? Experimental jet at 3 9 Lima, change to runway 1-1 one, one taxi via Alpha and confirm you had information, Mike. Yeah, yes, Mike, so 1-1 uh, one, one via Alpha, 1-3-9 Lima. Tower is 1, 2, 4 decimal 6. Okay, I'm gonna get my mask on the rest of the way and then I'll call him. Uh, experimental Jet 139 Lima, ready to go 1 1. Experimental Jet 139 or Lima, Bloomington Tower, fly runway heading, maintain 5000. Runway 1 1, clear for takeoff, change to your departure. 1 1, runway heading, clear for takeoff, maintain 5000, and we're gonna push for 139 Lima. You ready to go?
I'll go landing light on for now. Right. And strobes. I got them, might as well use them. Pressurization set, all that stuff's good. Do a flight control check. Alright, flaps mid. Yep. And trim. Engine's looking good. Everything else is good. Departure external jet 139 or Lima out of 1,400 for 5,000 runway heading. Terminal jet 139 or Lima, Peoria departure, radar contact, I maintain 10,000, turn left direct lacrosse. Left direct lacrosse up to 10,000, uh, 139 or Lima. Oh, this is great back here, Matt. Yeah, I like it up here. Center experimental jet 139 or Lima, 900,000, climbing 10,000. I've maintained 11,000, maintain 300 now. Number 139 or Lima, Chicago Center, climb maintain 16,000. The midway altimeter 2994. 2994 up to 16,000, 139 or Lima. You're really blind back here. Yeah. Well, with the sun and the haze, you're pretty blind up here. Number 139 or Lima, fly heading of 360, radar vectors for your climb. Return 360 or 139 or Lima. Well, this is going to be interesting, getting a heading to fly. And Lima, contact Chicago Center 132.22, good day. 3222, 139, good day. Chicago Center, Charles at 139 or Lima, symbol 180, climb 230, heading 360. Or 139 Lima, Chicago, Center Low, climb and maintain level 260. Level 260, 139 Lima. Okay, so as we level off here, we'll see what we get for speed. And basically my idea is pull the power back for about 275, and that should give us this profile that we're trying to see how accurate it is for long range crews. I was just looking at the weather finally. Looks like there's a little bit of stuff here uh, off the left you can kind of see out there. Yeah, are we going to clear it before we get to the bottom? What's 430 showing? Um, it, just looking out the window, it looks like we're just barely going to thread the gap, but we'll see what it looks like when we get up there if we're going to be able to see the gap. So the cabin is showing uh, between three and 6,000 meters. Yeah, so almost 4,000 meters, so uh, 13,000 feet. Okay. One three nine Lima area moderate station scattered at your eleven uh, twelve o'clock. Get them about two zero miles, thirty miles in diameter. Advise if need further deviation. That's pretty cool here. Legion twenty eight eighty two Volvo two nine zero. And the cool thing is, is up here at this, you know, we're indicating like 285 or 285 true. We're indicating like 180-ish, which is, uh, well, 185 call it, which is right about maneuvering speed. 
So even if we were like, you know, getting a ton of turbulence from these guys, we'd be good right here and not have to do anything. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the right pitot heat on as we go through this. November 3 Niner Lima, descend and maintain flight level 240. Flight level 240, okay. Try to do another roll to vacate. Uh, I don't care, guys. Uh, uh, if you're able. And at 457, deviations are approved, flight when able and advised. Flight when able, clear to deviate, uh, 457. And it's 250 for 240. Number 39er Lima, contact Chicago Center, 133.3. 39 Lima, Chicago Center, I'll blow in just a moment. There is a modern heavy precipitation along our route for about the next 20 miles. 139 Lima. Wow, this is beautiful. It's amazing. Oh, I just, this, I've never seen anything so pretty up here. Number 39 Lima, descend and maintain flight level 190. Flight level 190, 139 Lima. Hey, down to 19. This is amazing out there, there. like. I don't know how this could be better. Mach point six. I like it. I think that roll to descend is uh, is really kind of key in this airplane. Now we're about 13 minutes out. Yeah. Still got fuel in the drop. One three nine. We're going to pilot discretion to maintain six thousand. Do the cross altimeter two nine or eight four. Two nine or eight four. Discretion is six. One three nine eight one. We're 13 minutes out. 13. What's our mileage? Uh, yeah, 73. Yeah, let's just hold Mach 6, Mach 6 all the way down. Yeah. We're going to be visual all the way down? Yeah. Looks like we're going to go through a little haze layer, but it looks like we're going to be under them. Niner Lima, Minneapolis, Center Roger, the lacrosse altimeter is 2984, advising you get Romeo. You can expect visual approach on a 18. Okay, expect that we're advised, 2984, 2984. Niner Lima, Roger, you can descend and maintain 4,000. Lacrosse is off your 12 o'clock, and 2 Niner miles, advise inside. That is beautiful out here. About 250 now. That looked for good. Yeah. I, I just I love the quiet and like the views. Like this is just extraordinary. Sunset's extra pretty tonight. And clouds above it all lit up. We're fun. Yeah. So we were cleared down to 4,000. Yep. I just like being able to like you know look up and look across and watch the clouds go by. Like it's just yeah. The unlimited visibility in every direction is pretty awesome. At 139 Lima, we have the airport in sight. At 139 Lima, cleared visual approach from a 18 Lacrosse Airport. Radar service is terminated. Contact the tower at 118.45. Have a good night. Tower 1845, and uh, we're safe to visual 18139 Lima. Good night. Lacrosse tower, uh, extreme ultra at 139 Lima, uh, visual 18. We're 139 Lima, Lacrosse tower, enter left downwind, runway 18, and uh, report left face. No. Um, we want the overhead. Yeah, well, we could do this for the uh, low approach and then uh, go around to an overhead. Yeah. And 39 Lima, enter left downwind, runway 18, report left face. Okay, well, let's enter a left downwind, report left face for 18, and uh, we look, we're looking for the option uh, for 18, for 139 Lima. Alright, same intentions. We don't, we don't, we're not doing practice approaches right now. Same intentions. Uh, we just like to, for the option for 18 and come back around for the initial to 18. We're not looking for... 39 Lima, say again, you want to go to initial now? Uh, we, we'd like to make the downwind right now, we'll go to 1-8, uh, look for the option, and then uh, back around and set up for an initial to 1-8 for a full stop. Yeah, 39 Lima, we're not doing, we're not doing practice approaches right now. Okay, we're looking for the initial to 1-8, 139 Lima. 39 Lima, report the initial runway 1-8. Why is he not doing... I what think, I think, the, I think Finanza's Dodge Gosh or something, they're expecting a ton of traffic or... I mean, everybody's here already, so... If we got here 30 did minutes later, he'd have gone him, home. Did you not ask him, like, did you not mention to him there's clearly not a single airplane? Right here, I'll, I'll, I'll ask him what the reason is. 
Yeah. And we see no traffic. That's not one thing I remember. What's, what's the reason for no pattern work? And 3-9 Lima, we've uh, terminated uh, any practice approaches until after Oscar. <laughs> but you have no traffic right now. Romeo. Yeah, we have Romeo. I, I guess I'm just not, uh, not sure what that, what that means, uh, no practice approaches. Okay, maybe you should drop it then. He's gonna, he's gonna PD us real quick though, if he doesn't like something we do. So we're going to end a 1600 ish. We're doing the initial. Okay, so we got to go down another 400, 500 feet. Okay, landing lights on, uh, strobes on. I think that's good for this. Yeah, 139 Lima is the initial 18. Former 39 Lima, left brake approach end, runway 18, clear left. Left brake approach end, 18, clear left. Can we make it a midfield break for the 139 Lima? 39 Lima, that's approved as a question. Oh, he's nice now. Great. Got a boot change. Well, here's because we I have a justification for that because it helps us avoid the populated areas. This is about good here. Start bringing the power out a little bit. Okay, we could go gear down about there. Flaps are full. A touch fast. Auto runway. Dangerous altitude. Three nine Lima turn left at the end. Okay, three nine Lima.